What are you doing today, Jenna? What's going on, everyone? Welcome to a new video where it seems like we were here about a year ago, actually less than a year ago. We have the new iPhone 10s Max as well as the new Apple Watch Series 4. Now, last time I tested <laughs> to see if the Face ID would work underwater, which is kind of silly because clearly that's not gonna work. But I was also thinking, has anyone tried to do the Face ID underwater? Let's get in the water. <laughs> <laughs> can I hold my nose? No, you're, you're well, obscuring your face. It works, I can hold my nose. Although the Face ID is faster, uh, it's probably so not gonna work because there's like water particles and things happening. But what we're gonna do today is we are gonna do an underwater test and we're gonna do a camera test just to see how the iPhone works underwater, how the videos look, how everything's gonna work. Slow-mo, regular, front-facing, back-facing. Now the new iPhone is IP68 rated, which means that it can withstand two meters or around six feet for 30 minutes. This swimming pool is three feet, six inches, and I can't hold my breath for 30 minutes. So we're just gonna be swimming around and trying it out and seeing if it can withstand a quick swim. I'm gonna wear the watch too. I've never worn my watch in the water before. And the Apple Watch Series 4 is actually water resistant up to 50 meters. That's a lot. That is a lot. So it tracks both pool and open water workouts. I'm not gonna be working out. Like I'm just gonna be like this, like swimming probably for like five seconds because I don't like going underwater. If anything, I should do this in the bathtub because that is where I drop my phone most of the times. But we're gonna go, we're gonna hop in the pool. We're gonna see how good the iPhone video and pictures look underwater. You ready, Jess? Oh. You gotta get in the pool too. Oh, if God. you would've came earlier, it would've been warmer. This is so scary. So right now, this is a $1,600 iPhone. This watch was like $800, that's without tax. That's like $2,500 that I'm okay. taking underwater. That's, it is water resistant. I'm not doing anything that they said they shouldn't. They were very excited about their new water resistant IP68 rating, so. There's an SD card error. You know, sometimes things just don't ever work. Today is one of those. We also are going to London in an hour. An hour. Hello. Where should I go? It's really cold. Oh. Just been chilling today. Oh my god. But once I go into water, then I look like a rat. Yep. So how about? So. So do I swim towards you then? You back up. I swim towards you. Oh my poor phone. It's gonna go swimming. Okay. Oh man. I hate the water. You got this. Here we go. Can I hold my nose? I should hold my nose. Let me try again. How's it working so far? Um Look. Oh God. I should have taken a picture. This is also rated for not just regular pool water. They've tested it in beer and coffee and Thank salt you. water. I drop my phone in coffee every morning, but now my phone is too big. Okay. Okay, here I am underwater. Oh, it looks, wow. Well, wow. Oh. Look at your eyes open. <laughs> I don't like the portrait. I'm gonna try it. Just, just do it regular, but it's still cool that the portrait worked. I hate it so much. Okay. We're gonna now do, we should do, you should, how about you swim towards me when I hold it underwater? <laughs> you look great. No.
in the pool. Oh, I should have got a face mask. I didn't. so good I need to finish this and then we're gonna I'm gonna take a shower and do a follow-up and I have to go to the airport guys look 44 yards two laps <laughs> well I don't know how to stop it uh, <laughs> oh wait I didn't oh yeah you gotta put the wait you gotta let the water out keep doing that you have to spin the crown I did clearly I don't swim but, oh my god it's six o'clock we actually have to go to we the do airport. okay to be continued all right guys, so we are now at the airport. Like I said, we had to go to the airport. Um, I literally hopped out of the pool, hopped in the shower, packed my bag, and now we're here. The phone still works, so that's good. The videos and stuff, everything looks really great. The only problem is when I did try to take a video, I think that the speakers have a little bit of water in them, but I'm pretty sure that that's gonna dry. It still charges, everything's fine, works perfectly fine. I took a picture underwater of my watch underwater. Do you want to see? Look at that. I was swimming. That looks cool. That's my that's my hand. These aren't my best. These aren't my best. Oh, I am. Well, ah, nope. So good. Oh, I did a live photo. Oh, that's cool. Thankfully, because I've only had this phone for 20 hours. <gasps> And this is my phone, personal. And if I broke it and I tried to buy another one, I couldn't until middle of October. So I feel extremely confident swimming with my iPhone. I actually wasn't worried about it. Were you worried, Jess? I actually was not worried about it. Did you do the same thing last year? I did, and it was perfectly fine. So, perfectly fine. And the watch is perfectly fine. Everything's great. I'm very confident in uh, the iPhone XS, XS Max. Okay, it's swimming, why not? Well, actually, you probably shouldn't. I still wouldn't recommend it, but I did it for you guys. I'm sure there's more official reviews doing like the two meter for 30 minutes, but I'm not doing that. This is my, I paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know if there's any other videos you want to see. And uh, I gotta go get on a plane and edit this video. It's a long flight. Will the battery last 10 hours? Oops. Is that your little watch? You know, somebody closed all their rings. How long is this battery supposed to last? Um, it lasts an hour more than the iPhone 10. An hour longer than the iPhone 10. Cool. <laughs> All right, I gotta guys. charge mine. I will see you again. Mine's dead. I think it's dead. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>